All right, we just took apart a uh, Volvo after treatment system here. Uh, one of the big items here, we've got a huge amount of death built up in the, uh, I guess the decomposition tube. Going over to the SCR, so that's a little bit of a concern. The uh, other thing I saw here is we got a lot of soot. I mean, it's even down here on this knock sensor. There shouldn't be any soot after the DPF. So as you can see here on this, it looks like this filter is actually leaking soot. Uh, it had kind of a strange color. And also a large amount of ash build up here. So, but we're gonna take this in on the test table, do a little bit more investigation and see what we got going on here. But I'm probably thinking we're gonna wanna replace this DPF at this point and we'll check out the DOC. Again, came in for low conversion efficiency. I believe that's at uh, the P, P20, EE, OO, EE, something of that nature. But that's the low conversion efficiency in a Volvo or Mac. So, but with that, we're going to uh, do a little bit more investigation and go from there. The DOC doesn't appear to be face plugged and doesn't really look like there's any signs of contamination. So that don't seem too bad. You know, this is a pretty dry soot, so that's good. Um, if we see a lot of buildup um, where it's like wet or it's clumping up, then that tells me there's something else, like an excess amount of fuel or coolant, something possibly being, being introduced. So you want a real smooth, dry soot. Um, so that looks pretty good up here on the inlet side. We just did a restriction test on this. It's pretty high. I mean, our baseline on this is about uh, two inches of water column. This one's pushing close to three. This is also a Mac part number, and that's a Volvo truck, which some of you can swap, but we're gonna, this may have been replaced, but the Volvo number that we have here has a little, quite, probably about 10% lower baseline uh, number than what this one does. So we just wanna make sure we do have the right filter for what the application or VIN driven is. You're getting soot leaking past the media down here, um, and that's not good. You don't want soot going through your SCR. Um, so we're gonna do a little research and uh, see if this is indeed the correct filter. I mean, obviously, then by the looks of it and the restriction level and this, I would recommend replacing this filter. So instead of wasting the money cleaning it. Um, but that's pretty much it for now.